What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another video and this is kind of a important, urgent kind of video. Uh, so there has been a lot of talk about touring causing issues um, on iOS 14 and specifically the version 1.0.5 and 1.0.6. Now I personally haven't had any issues and I'm running touring version 1.0.6. Um, but basically what has happened is it's causing boot looping and it's not just a boot loop because I've covered how to get out of boot loops before. It is boot loops that you cannot get out of and you are forced to restore your device. And if you guys would know, the only signed version of iOS currently is 14.6. So basically it's a boot loop that could cause you uh, to be forced into updating to 14.6 and losing your jailbreak. So it is recommended to downgrade to version 1.0.4 of Taurine uh, until this is addressed or version 1.0.7 comes out. Um, as I get information on this, of course I'll do updated videos, but it is recommended to downgrade Taurine. Now like I said, I'm jailbroken with Taurine on iOS 14.3 and this is version 1.0.6. So to be safe, I will be doing this downgrade as well. So if that says anything, you know, just remember it's it's better to just downgrade to uh, an older version of the jailbreak than it is to lose your jailbreak. So I'm going to downgrade this iPhone so you guys can see how to do it. Uh, it's pretty simple. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take it out of the jailbroken state. So I'm just gonna do a quick hard reboot on this. So I'm gonna take it out of the jailbroken state. And uh, if you guys are interested, I'll leave the Reddit post uh, for this listed in the description if you guys want to read the post and also read the comments. So we'll just uh, let this reboot. Now, it kind of sucks because Taurine is an awesome jailbreak, but there seems to be some sort of weird bug in the version 1.0.5 and the version 1.0.6. So very unfortunate that there's some weird bug going on that is causing these reboots. Uh, endless reboots so like I said it's better to be safe than sorry so now we are out of the jailbroken state which is pretty simple so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete taurine off of this phone so delete app go ahead and delete again and now I'm going to install the version 1.0.4 so we're gonna go ahead and jump into Chrome here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Taurine website. Now, if you guys depend on a third party store to get your jailbreak, um, you might wanna just take it out of the jailbroken state temporarily until this is addressed. Uh, but I do use Alt Store, so it's easy enough for me to change up the jailbreak application. I know some of you don't have a computer, don't have Alt Store. You rely on a website like jailbreaks.app to sign these applications. So like I said, if you have no way of getting a, a lower version of Taurine, it's probably in your best interest uh, to, to just, you know, unjailbreak your iPhone or not unjailbreak it, but take it out of the jailbroken state uh, until Taurine is updated to fix this. But like I said, for anyone that uses Alt Store, uh, it's easy enough to downgrade. So here is version 1.0.6. Um, you can go ahead and go to right here it's kind of in small text older versions so i'm just going to click on older versions and we're going to go down to 1.0.4 i'm going to install it via alt store and it's uh it, it is installing the taurine jailbreak right now apparently it could not find the alt store ah uh, that's probably because i have alt daemon so let me go ahead and sideload this uh, with my computer here real quick. Or actually, I didn't have alt server running on my computer, so that might have been the issue. Let's try this again. Uh, install via alt store. Hopefully it connects. I did have alt daemon installed and all of that so that this device was independent from the computer. Uh, I didn't have the alt server running. So it is open now on my Mac. So in theory, it should work. If not, I'll just use Alt Store directly on my computer to install the IPA. But 
Uh, like I said, I do recommend you guys to downgrade. You would rather be safe than sorry. And it's just about done installing. And there we go. So now let's go ahead and hop into Taurine. As you can see, we do have the information there and update is, is available for Taurine. We're not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and put it back into the jailbroken state so it is awesome. It has tweaks and it's fun to use. And I will remain on version 1.0.4 until this bug is addressed and an update is available. So hopefully the jailbreak goes completely smooth here. Okay, and we are back into the jailbroken state. Now I'm gonna have this annoying pop up every time I respring. I might uninstall that tweak so it's not reminding me that there's an update available every time I respring. Um, but yeah, we are on a safe version of Taurine version 1.0.4. Uh, and now if you've made it this far in the video, I do want to talk a little bit about Taurine um, because I am actually pretty surprised about this. Um, I don't really talk about this on my channel, but I am a part of the Taurine beta testers and I have tested and ran the betas of Taurine uh, quite a few times and I've never had any issues with it on 1.0.5. Uh, or on 1.0.6, nor have the testers of the Discord really encountered this issue either. So um, it's pretty surprising to me that there is a, you know, a critical error with the jailbreak and it causing a boot loop, an endless boot loop that you cannot get out of. Like I said, I haven't, I haven't seen this, like I haven't seen video of it or anything like that. I haven't, I just really haven't seen any evidence about it. So you know, it's kind of weird, but I mean, there is a lot of people talking about this problem right now. Uh, so that's why I'm just playing it safe. I'd rather, you know, for those of you that are subscribed and watch my videos, uh, for those of you that are using Taurine, I'd rather you guys be safe and just downgrade uh, for the time being until this is addressed. Uh, like I said, none of us beta testers have encountered this issue, at least that I know of. I haven't really seen anything in the chat. Uh, so hopefully, uh, you know, we get an update here at some point from maybe Coolstar and uh, I will keep you guys posted as soon as it is addressed. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, this critical, important video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy and I will catch you guys in the next one later.